so much for coming out to our first Spring Semester Startup Show. Welcome to Bromfin Auditorium, guys. This is a new experience for everybody. So, we had to pull some strings to get in here because we've got a massive amount of people, which is amazing. So, we just want to ask that you guys take the cups out with you. Don't sit in the stairs, because in case there's a fire or something. That's all we need from you guys, thanks. If you don't know us, we're PAC. Uh, we're Canvas's stand-up and sketch comedy group. If you like what you see tonight and you're interested in helping out via tech, writing, or getting up on stage, we meet 8 p.m. Hollander 140 on Tuesdays. But if you can't remember all that, just find me after the show. Happy February. Happy <laughs> February, <laughs> Trust me, we've all got Valentine's Day plans. But I figured, I figured. I know people don't really like jokes about happy relationships because, like, they're not relatable. And, like, even people in happy relationships are like, don't joke about that. Like, what we have is serious. <laughs> but don't worry, you guys are safe because I got dumped recently. <laughs> not to toot my own horn, but this is the first time this has ever happened to me. <laughs> They tell you you're gonna be sad, they tell you you're gonna be lonely, but they don't talk about the boredom. Oh my goodness. One day, you're scrolling through Twitter all fun and games, because when you come up upon your favorite amateur bird photographer, you know exactly who to send it to and who will feign interest lovingly. <laughs> Next day, you're face to face with four new photos of the majestic blue heron, thinking to yourself, oh my god. Nobody wants to fucking talk about this with me. <laughs> I've actually tagged my mom in nine Instagram giveaways since Monday. <laughs> Over winter break in December, I uh, was at my friend's house. And despite being friends for a long time, I'd never been to her house before, so I enter and in comes her dog I've never met. He's in one of those Labrador-shaped things, but like bleach white, big beady eyes. And I'm like, oh, what's this guy's name? And she's like, that's Boo. And I was like, oh! <laughs> no, but really, I wasn't scared. It's all good, because that's a really, it was a really sweet name for a dog. You know, they got him on Halloween. He looks like a little sheet ghost with four legs, but if you also thought that was like a little frightening, I shouldn't give you a heads up. That's okay. <laughs> Shortly after I meet Boo, in comes an exact copy of Boo. And I was like, oh, this must be Boo's brother. And she was like, no. That's Chief, they're not related. It's weird you assume he's a boy dog also. Okay, fuck, sorry. I mean, as these two, like, identical mirror image dogs are, like, waving their tails in perfect unison, I learned that Boo was actually 10 years old when they got Chief as a puppy, which, it means that it took this family 10 years to decide that they wanted another one of the exact same dog. <laughs> Can you imagine 30 years from now, you wake up with your wedded significant other, 10-year-old dog at the foot of the bed, and they look at you and say, you know, I think I like that thing. <laughs> I got this unemployed sister. Dude, she's awesome, she's awesome, because you can just call her in the middle of the day. I'm always like, what's up? And she's like, nothing. <laughs> I called her recently, I was like, what's up? She's like, nothing much. I was like, what happened? Nothing much? Do we tell? <laughs> she's like, oh, dad got a new pair of boots, so he's been walking around the house really loudly trying to break them in. I thought she might have like, gotten a job interview or something. <laughs> but I have to come clean though. Truth be told, this week, my unemployed sister got a job. It's exciting for her. She's moving to the Big Apple at the end of this month, so if anyone's really tapped into the sublet game, please find me after the show. But I thought maybe we could send her a little congratulations. Is that okay if I can record a voice memo? Um, so you'll just, I'm gonna say what to say and I'm gonna press start and you guys are gonna go, because you're gonna say, congratulations Marie, I'm sorry I said your master's degree was a waste of money. <laughs> the second part's more for me, but you guys are gonna say it anyway, right? 
Congratulations, Marie! I'm sorry I said that your master's degree was a waste of money. Oh my goodness, she's gonna love that, you guys. <laughs> for me personally though because when it comes to someone who will at all hours responds to like really odd looking bird photos unemployed sister is right up there with girlfriend it's it's not quite the same energy it's usually more like i don't give a fuck about the pileated woodpecker as opposed to like whoa like that guy's really cool like maybe we should spend quality time together later <laughs> but you, you take what you can get you really do so if anyone's, anyone's like into the like weird pictures of birds scene, you can find me in the Twitter comments of at Kathleen Cox photos, and it'll be easy to find me because I'm usually the only one. <laughs> Next.